welcome back to my channel uh, this in this lecture we are going to learn about various other topics of matrices too please uh, do check out my first part of matrices i'll link it below in the description box first today we are going to learn about how to calculate cofactor of a matrix i will first take a very simple matrix 2 by 2 matrix 2 rows 2 column simple uh, numbers positive numbers i am taking we will deal with other combinations of negative positives later on but let us first uh, do solve the very easy part here is my basic 2 by 2 matrix i can write it down as a11 a12 a21 a22 how see this one is at the place of first row and first column correct now this one 2 is at the place of first one for uh, second column so a12 now here instead of 3 i have written a21 why because it is at the place second row and first column the uh, same for the four number that is second row and second column now i have written here basic stencil of how i have to solve the cofactors there are three basic steps to calculate cofactor since it is a very easy two by two matrix it doesn't need any much work done to it so what i have to do first here it is a11 so i have to just write down what is the digit which is at the place of first row and first column so what is it it is one so i will write it down here now what is this m11 it is minor of 11 what i have to do here here i have to skip out first row and first column and i have to write down here the digit which, which is remaining after i skip out this first row and first column so if i draw an imaginary line here i have to not count these digits and these digits as it is first row and first column what is remaining four so i i will copy it down here now for a11 what i have to do is i have to always write minus one and i have to plus these powers as one plus one so and multiplied by m11 what is my answer so what i will do i will calculate it minus 1 remains as it is 1 plus 1 is 2 m11 we know it is 4 so we will calculate further minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1 and into 4 you can write it like this or 1 into 4 as you are comfortable so that would be positive 4 so my cofactor of this place a11 is 4 same way i will calculate the others a12 so that would be 2 m12 so i have to skip first row and second column so the remaining digit is 3 now m11 minus 1 this is 1 2 1 plus 2 into m12 this is a12 sorry minus 1 into raise to 3 to 3 minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1 into minus 1 as it is uh, the power of the 3 so i have to write it as minus 1 because it would be like this minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 so that would be minus 1 into 3 that would be minus 3 now here a21 so let's check out here a21 is 3 m21 so second row and first column i have to skip so what is the digit 2 a21 so that would be minus 1 raised to 2 plus 1 into m21 minus 1 raised to 3 into m21 is 2 as it is odd number so i will write minus 1 into 2 that would be minus 2 now a22 which is uh, second row second column this is the remaining is four four number four digit so m22 that would be second row second column then one 
a22 is nothing but minus 1 raised to 2 plus 2 multiplied by m22 that would be minus ra 1 raised to 4 into m22 is 1 minus uh, that would be positive 1 into 1 that would be 1. So my cofactors are 4 minus 3 minus 2 and 1. If I am asked just to write down the cofactors, mostly students do the mistake as they don't read the questions properly into mathematics and they uh, really put in efforts, a lot of efforts for less marks uh, answer and they put a little effort to very big answers. So you must always remember to read the question carefully. So if the question is such that write down just the cofactors so you have to write it down like this 4 minus 3 minus 2 1 the cofactors are these but if they, to, uh, they say you to construct the matrix so you have to construct it like this 4 minus 3, minus 2 and 1. Here is a little tip which you can use. You can write down the numbers like linearly for A11 or whatever A12 small a. So 1, 2, 3, 4 that will come in serial order. Now second tip is where the powers are positive such as 2, 4, Six, such as powers so their minus 1 will come positive uh, sorry the powers if they are even there the uh, num digit 1 will come positive but the power where the digits are odd such as 3 or uh, 5 such as like this so there your for this part a11 part this Mine, it would come negative 1 as you can see here uh, these are 1 plus 1 2 so these are this is even number so the digit is positive now here 1 plus 2 is 3 so when 3 is odd these uh, minus 1 uh, the digit 1 is minus now here 2 uh, 2 plus 1 so there is power is 3 which is odd so it, it would come minus 1 now here the power is 4 so it it is coming in positive now we just calculated cofactor method for 2 by 2 matrix now what about 3 by 3 matrix let's get the things a little harder or difficult we will solve these uh, matrix by logical way which the book says and the second is my cheat code way which you can apply it is not cheating actually it is actually a short form method which you can use so please pay attention here I am writing down the basic stencil so that I can just fill out the rest. Now here is my matrix. This is one is standing at the place of first row, first column, minus one, second row, uh, sorry. It is standing at the place first row, first row, second column. 2 at the place of first row, third column. So, this 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 2 stands for first row, this rows and columns, rows and columns. So, just remember that. Now, we will just fill out. A11 is nothing but the first digit. So, 1, first row, first column. The digit which is standing at the place of this, this. So, I write it down here. M11, how we have to calculate? Now since we write, uh, it is not 2 by 2 matrix, so it is Here is my basic 3 by 3 matrix I am going to solve it by cofactor method So here, is, here are my 3 rows and 3 columns First is, what I will do is I will write A11 Which is the digit lying on intersection of first row and first column so as you can see it is this one so i will write it down here now next is m m11 so how will i calculate that in two by two matrix it was really easy to calculate but here what i have to do 
I have to ignore this first row and first column and take the rest four digits which are lying and create a matrix and solve it to get my M11 value. So I will write it down here which is 3, 0, 5 and minus 1. So I will copy it down here and I will solve it by basic cross multiplication as 3 into minus 1 minus 5 into 0. As we know that 3 into minus 1 is minus 3 since plus minus 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 5 into 0 it is 0 so it is useless and we will write it down here minus 3. Now what we will do we will calculate capital A11 whose formula is minus 1 raised to 1 plus 1 since 1 1 1, one row 1 column so 1 plus 1 whatever it is written here in the subscript we have to add in the power to find a capital A and that would be multiplied multiply to M11 so minus 1 raised to 1 plus 1 is 2 <coughs> into m11 is minus 3 we just calculated it now minus 1 raised to 2 we um, last time lastly i told you about when the power is even minus 1 will come uh, positive so 1 into minus 3 which would be minus 3 so for our first step is done now next uh, we have to calculate in the same way a12 a13 we will we will go in this order a11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23, A31, A32, A33. Okay. Now next is A12, which is the number lying on the intersection of first row and second column. So which is minus 1. So we will write it down here. Now next is M12. So determinant, we have to find out uh, except these rows and columns so minus 2 minus 2 5 and minus 1 and we will do cross multiply which is minus 2 into minus 1 minus 5 into minus 2 so that would be minus 2 and minus 1 is plus 2 minus 5 into minus 2 is minus 10 now bracket gets open 2 plus 10 which is 12 now next capital A 1 2 its formula is minus 1 raised to 1 plus 2 we will directly add because the space is low multiply by m12 is plus 12 since the power is neg uh, the odd so minus uh, it would come the uh, digit 1 will come negative so we will write it as minus 1 into 12 so the answer is minus 12 <coughs> now next one we have to calculate A13. A13. So the number lying on the intersection of first row and third column, which is this. Next is M13. So I will create a determinant. So first row and third column, the remaining four digits are this minus 2, minus 2. 3 and 0 so I will solve it minus 2 into 0 is 0 minus 3 into minus 2 is minus 6 if I open the back bracket it would be positive 6 now that would be <coughs> a 1 3 so minus 1 raised to 1 plus 3 into 6 since it is m 1 3 since the 1 plus 3 would be 4 and the power would come even so it would be positive 1 into 6 so that this would be 6 next one is a 2 1 a 2 small a 2 1 that would be the number lying on the intersection of second row first column which is minus 2 so I will write it down here minus 2 next is uh, m 2 1 I will create a determinant so numbers or the four digits except second row and first columns that would be minus 1 2 0 and minus 1 <coughs> cross multiply now 
Now capital A21 that would be minus 1 raised to 2 plus 1 into M21. So that would be minus 1 raised to 2 plus 1. It would 3. So multiply by 1. Since it is the power is odd. So it would come negative minus 1 into 1. So that would be minus 1. The next one is A22. Small a22. That would be the number lying in intersection of second row, second column. That is 3. M22. I have to create a determinant here. So, numbers except the second row and second column. 1, minus 2, 2 and minus 1. I will write it down here. And cross multiply it. So, 1 into minus 1 is minus 1. Minus. Minus 2 into minus 2 is plus 4. So, that would be 3. Now, um, for A, 2, 2, I have to, I know that the power would be um, 4. So, it is even. So, that would be 1 into 3. So, that would be 3. Now, next one is A, 2, 3. Now for A23, number lying on intersection of second row, third column, that is 5. So I will write it down here. Next one is M23. I have to create a determinant again. Sec numbers except from second row, third column, that is 1, minus 1, minus 2, 0. I will write it down rapidly here. 1 into 0 is 0, minus, minus 2 into minus 2 <coughs> into minus 1. 0 minus 2 that would be minus 2 now a 2 3 that would be minus 1 raised to 2 plus 3 into minus 2 since the 2 plus 3 is 5 which is odd number so that would min uh, it would come 1 will come odd sorry negative into minus that would be plus 2 since minus minus is plus the next one is A31. So, number lying on intersection of third row and first column which is minus 2. I will write it down here. M31. Number lying, the four digits except from this uh, third row and first column numbers. This four. Minus 1, 2, 3 and 5. So, cross multiply. Minus 1 into 5 is minus 5. Uh, minus 3 2 is 6. That would be minus 11. Now M 3. Sorry. A 3 1. Minus 1 raised to 3 plus 1 into minus 11. Since the power would be 4 which is even. So it would come positive into minus 11. That will be minus 11. Now next is A32 and A33 are remaining. Number lying on intersection of third row and second column which is 0. Create a matrix. So that would be third row and second column 1 minus 2. So that would be 5 minus plus 4, 9. Since power is odd, so it would come minus 1 into 9, which would be minus 9. A small A33, which would be minus 1 as usual. So the number line except from four digit numbers except from third row third column which are these four 1 minus 2 minus 1 and 3 3 ones are 3 minus a 3 3 minus 1 raised to 3 plus 3 into 1 so since the power is even so this will come minus 1 into 1 